Hi there, I'm Yvonne Tisellis coming to you on my channel, Why Energy. I tried doing this before using my brand new microphone and guess what? It actually muted itself halfway through the video. So I'm going to try this again using my new Mac speakers. I hope you can hear me. I apologize if you can't. I don't know why I can't find a decent microphone solution. I'm speaking as loud as I can. Behind me is a bedroom and there's someone trying to sleep in there, which is why I'm not talking even louder. But I don't think I can get much louder than this, so I really hope you can hear me. There are going to be captions as soon as I can put them on here, so if you can't hear me, put uh, credits on. But again, I apologize if you can't hear me. I am doing everything I can. I will get another microphone as soon as I have a little more money. In the interim, if this video is of interest to you, please do a like or a subscribe. Let anyone who you think it might help know. That would be really helpful to my channel. But anyway, I'm going to try to do this one more time, and I will be back tonight at 9 p.m. in case anyone wants to talk to me live about today's video or anything I've done in the past. But I'm just going to do this one more time. It's a quick, quick video. Ways to get rid of migraines. I'm going to show you two different ways to help with a migraine. I cannot guarantee it will work, but I can guarantee that if you try it, it might help. I'm also going to show you a way to get rid of neck crick pain. If you wake up and one side of your neck hurts so much that you can't turn your head, I know a way to get rid of that. And also a way to help with a regular headache, like a tension headache or a stress headache. So first, if you have a migraine, one way of getting rid of migraine, and this is good for many other things too, I've been told this is the most needled point in acupuncture because this controls so many different things. The webbing between your thumb and your index finger, not the webbing itself though, down here in the muscle. If you press really hard on both the outside and inside of your hand, either left or right, um, it seems to vary on where the head pain is. I find my migraines are always on my right side, so I end up doing my right hand, doing the right hand, and again, you want to pinch on the outside and the inside of your hand, deep down where the muscle is, and I have to warn you, if you have migraine, this is going to be sore, but you want to vigorously pinch and hold this down for as long as you can stand it. If you can make it loosen up the pain on your hand, it should loosen up the pain in your head. And another way to help prevent migraines as well as to help break one up. I hope my chair doesn't block me. The very back of your head at the base of your skull in the center, you should be able to fit the top half of the first knuckle of your index fingers into the back of your head. And again, I hope you can see me. Right at the center, there's a little indent. You should be able to fit both fingers in and just kind of dig in on the sides of that indent for as long as you can. And again, that's going to be sore, um, especially if you have a migraine. That's actually a sensitive spot, even when the head does not hurt. Sorry for the shaking. But if you can press in and hold that section down for a while, that should help break a migraine headache up. If you have a neck crick, one thing you'd want to do is kind of dig around back here as much as you can and go out from the center and work your way to the sides, you should find a sore spot, a really, really sore spot when you're doing that. That sore spot corresponds to the pain in the neck. If you can break up the pain in the back of your head, it should break up the pain in the neck enough so that you should be able to have full range of motion. Um, by the way, this is a really good exercise. If you can't do the rolling of the head, doing a neck rotation going this way, to this way is a really good exercise to do. So that's a way to get rid of neck crick pain. And last, but certainly not le least, sorry, to get rid of regular, regular non-migraine strength headache pain. And again, I can't guarantee that these will work, but they should help. Your temples are your triple, have your triple warmer, part of your triple warmer is right here. But also these are really good headache points. If you rub, on both sides, if you kind of dig in and rub, that should help break a headache up. And also, I'm going to just show you what I like to call the triple warmer visor, which can be very helpful. It can be something to help you lose stress, to calm down, but it can also help with a headache. You want to rub your hands together, get them nice and warm, 
and then put them all over your eyes with your thumbs pointing out over your ears and your fingers on the top of your head and just hold this position for as long as you can and again now you're going to want to do energy healing breathing with this so sorry we're going to lose eye contact but let's just do a couple of breaths this way so again hands on the eyes eyes can be open or closed hands over the eyes thumbs over the ears and fingers on top of the head and breathe in and out rise up when you inhale sink when you exhale one more time in and out and that's it and I really do hope that helps you those are all exercises that can help with stress as well as helping with breaking up pain once again as always thank you so so much for your time I really hope you can hear me and again if you can't this will be closed captioned and I will close caption it in several different languages as well I'll also be back tonight at 9 p.m. if you watch this video and you have any questions or if you have any questions about anything else. I'll be here at 9 p.m. tonight. I'll probably just go over these exercises again. And if anyone shows up, I will stick around to help answer questions, etc. Thank you, as always, for your time. I hope you will be back to see me again. Don't forget, comment down below. Hit a like if you like this. And I guess that's it for now. I will be back tonight. I am sending Reiki energy healing your way right now. Namaste. Once again, thank you for your time. Cheers. Bye-bye.